What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Um, we are on week number 54 now, I think. Yeah, I think it's 54. But yeah, week 54. And I, th I think I just looked on the webcam that um, something was left at the front porch. I think it came for me. So I'm going to go out there real quickly to see what it is and I'll let you know what's next. Anyway, some personnel just came up to the door. About to open it and see what it is. What? All right, give me a second while I bring this in. In case you guys aren't aware, surprise, the package came and it's a DX Racer chair. In case you guys were unaware, I was in desperate need of an upgrade. Actually, a big problem is the backrest on this one keeps falling over and it's going to keep going over and over and over and then it'll break off. And let me tell you, the had this thing for four years this is an upgrade this is a total upgrade right here and it's, this is going to take me all the way through pretty much the rest of my life you guys this is it anyways um i'm gonna i'm going to leave this here for um a little bit and then um and then whenever I'm ready to, I'll open it and assemble it in very soon. Alright, everybody. It was like the dark of night when I got this thing, so I waited a couple days just like... It's about noon, but I want to let you know about something just in case anybody is looking at doing the same, getting something similar to this, take a look. Alright, CSI. There we go. Not weatherproof right there. This side goes up because that's where you open it. It is fragile. And it's very heavy. Let me tell you, I had to shove this box in here. Um, I don't know if you saw that in the intro of this video, but um, that's what I had to do. Oh, and also, 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 for one uh, um, last thing, Instagram and Snapchat, I already knew about this, but now you guys know. It's pretty cool. It's also going to be very comfortable, so I'm going to get another the other tripod out, and then we're going to kind of also, we, whenever you're opening a box like this, <laughs> box cutters are forbidden because it's actually made of material that can cut through and cause tears really easily. So instead, I'm going to be using the key to Neo car. Yeah, I could use a screwdriver, but um, the key to Neo car will work. So let me get another, let me get the other tripod out and we will open this. All right, then, now that I've gotten that in place let's go ahead and open this thing up and this is probably the second unboxing i've done for this channel so hooray for me on that one so i'm just gonna slowly make actually i can just tear the tape on this part i can just tear the tape on this part there we go and i'll get the other part later but let's go ahead and go through the center of it. It is finally open. Yay! That was pretty cool. So let me put these back work on them. Ugh. Lift this out. Push it back against the birds so you guys can see. 
Oh yeah, this is gonna be perfect. Here's the base. I'm gonna pop this over here. This is followed by another piece of cardboard. This probably used to hold this whole thing together. Come on. Off we go. The next one is probably the best part of all. It's all jumbled together, and I'm gonna have to use both hands. And I've yet to find a way to put this flap all the way down. Now I did. So now it will be easier for me to get this whole thing out. Here we go. I'll tell you why I got gray in a minute. After I put everything where it goes first. And then there's a little, another tiny box which we'll open in a minute. And then the accessories. This is a pillow. And then this is a lumbar pillow. So there's a head pillow, a lumbar pillow, and then there's some straps. I'm going to keep these in their overwrap until um, we assemble it. Okay, and now I'll tell you why I got gray. Um, well, as you know, I'm actually going to paint this wall gray. And so I got gray just to match it. These all have kind of a little mesh. Which is, which has some aspirations of carbon fiber. And the same thing goes for the bottom half. It looks so beautiful. And also these things recline. So this is a recline mechanism that does that. This one hasn't locked itself in place yet. And I'm just not going to mess with this part. But that one has a recline mechanism. This is the lev lever that controls it. Just put that back in place. I'm just going to keep these in their overwrap until I'm ready to assemble this. But anyways, um, another reason I got the DX Racer is because a lot of YouTubers uh, have it. So, I mean, the majority of FaZe Clan has this as well, and that's pretty much that. Um, that's the main part, but... Um, I mean, it kind of looks like what you see in like, a sports car because... Um, DX Racer was originally a seat brand ins inserted in high-end sports cars. And then they decided to incorporate that into onto the gas level office chair and that's how the gaming chair was created. Oh, and then we also have these four-dimensional armrests. Which is adjustable. Alright, um... Since I do not want to take up much time on this camera, because I'm going to use it for the general review, I'm going to use my iPad to do a time lapse. So let's do it. Oh yeah, before we do the time lapse, last thing, we have the instruction booklets. There's some other things that fit on that. There are some gray little things that go on that. That's for the gas lift. That's another part of the gas lift. Some other little covers. The casters. And that's the gas lift down there. And then in here there's some little bolts, screws, and an Allen wrench. Alright, I think it's time for the time lapse build. Let's do it!
All right, everybody, here goes the golden spike. Ta-da! Now, a couple of these are built a little bit weird because they are sticking out a bit, and, and quite frankly, it's going to be hard just to redo that. So, this will be the back of it. I'll swivel this this way. All right, let's go ahead and sit down and never the first time. And wow, it is super cool. Look at that. All right, buddy, this is the more of the perspective from the vlogging perspective. You can see how beautiful this is. I love it. Let's go to another view. All right, everybody, the term of the week is comfort. It's a state of physical ease and freedom from pain or constraint. And this chair that you just saw is going to give me that comfort. It's that I've always been hoping for. Whoa. Ah, yes. All right, let's, to finish things off, let's recline all the way back. It kind of feels like one of those lie flat seats on uh, Emirates or Delta, like all those other airlines. Whoa, okay. But yeah, really nice mesh. There's actually a little, I think this is more of a vinyl covering right here. A lot of vinyl, a lot of little mesh and carbon fiber aesthetics. It's amazing. I can adjust this to my preference as well. It fits. Fits everything. And now that we got this chair, we're gonna, I'm just gonna say that it's about to get really, 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 really interesting from here on out, so. Oh, and then I have one last thing I wanna say for those that actually are serious about getting one of these, just like I did. Um, Make sure you save your spare mate screw. I'm just gonna put it over here and then deal with that later. But also, um, I'm sorry about that. Let me just... Also, you wanna make sure that you save. You wanna make sure that you save this Allen wrench that came with it. This is very dedicated to this chair alone. You want to save it because every month it is recommended that you pretty much check all the screws to make sure that they're not falling off. Luckily they give you a spare one if it does, but still. So I'm going to put this with the three other Allen wrenches I have. And I'm guessing with that said, that is the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next week. Let's get it.